Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome to today's video where I am doing my first unhaul ever and I don't know if I can do this but I'm going to. <laughs> books in the past before but never since starting this channel have I gotten rid of books I I have such a hard time getting rid of books because if I haven't read them then I'm convinced that I'm going to read them so I shouldn't get rid of them and if I have read them I even if I didn't like them there's still some level of attachment there but this time I'm finally I'm biting the bullet I'm getting rid of a few books. Not very many, but a few. And I, I especially have a hard time with this because last time I did get rid of books, I got rid of a bunch of middle grade because I was under the me mentality of, you know, I'm starting a booktube channel, I'm an adult, people aren't going to want to hear about children's books. I was wrong, and so now I very much regret getting rid of most of those books because I did either still like them or were still partway through reading them. And so ever since then, it's been like, what if I get rid of it and then I regret it like I did last time? But anyway, these are some books I'm getting rid of for sure. There are not very many, but I'm going to do it. The first one I'm going to get rid of is this copy of Dracula by Bram Stoker. I have another copy that is a lot prettier and I'm keeping that. The reason I'm getting rid of this because I don't need this edition and I already have another copy. I bought this for a class because there are other essays and things in here that I was required to read. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and sell it to someone else who might be taking the class next semester so that they can benefit from it and I don't need to have it on my shelf. The next one I am going to get rid of is City of a Thousand Dolls. I, I think I either won this from something at school or it was cheap or it was gifted to me and whenever if something's gifted to me and I don't like it I might not ever get rid of it because I would feel so bad um, but it's been such a long time that I'm getting rid of this I haven't read it I'm not ever going to read it there's no use of it sitting on my shelf so I'm sorry but I'm getting rid of this one the next two and final two that I will be getting rid of I told you it was going to be a very short unhaul um, are both books that I read and did not enjoy. So first off is The Winner's Curse. I read this entire series. I listened to the audiobook and I didn't like most of them. There are many elements of this I didn't like. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like some of the world building. How It kind of glorified slavery a little bit for me. I, I know that obviously wasn't the intent but I just I only owned the first book in the series, I didn't like any of the books in the series, so I'm not going to buy the rest, and so I don't want just the first book, so I will be getting rid of this. And then I will also be getting rid of The Thousandth Floor. This was a tough one for me to decide to get rid of, because I read it, and the whole point of the book is just something I don't like in books. I don't like drama for the sake of drama, I don't like when everything stems from miscommunication, or like, if one person decides not to tell this other person something, and so there's lack of communication, and then you have a whole novel out of that, that's not what I enjoy reading. It's it's not my cup of tea. I completely understand if it's other people's cups of tea, and that is a-okay. You read whatever you want. It's just not for me personally. So I'm not going to buy the rest of the series. I'm not going to read the rest of the series. It was a well-written book. I think the world building was kind of interesting, but I wished it could have been more, a little better, more fleshed out. Um, I almost want to keep it just because it's such a pretty cover and it looks really nice on the shelf, but that is not a reason to keep a book. So I will be getting rid of this one. Those are all the books that I for sure am getting rid of. There is one other book series that I own the complete series for that I'm still debating on. I read the first book and I started the second book. I kind of dropped it, not necessarily because it was bad. I think there were just a lot of things going on at that time and I wasn't really reading it very well. And so I'm very much just debating, do I want to keep the series and try again or keep the series because it was a gift or do I just need to give it up? 
And that's the Maze Runner series. <laughs> like I said, I own the complete Maze Runner series and I read the first book. And I enjoyed the first book and I enjoyed the movies. I think it's something that I could really like if I just got back into it. It's just the question of will I get back into it? Do I want to prioritize it over other books? Do I want to take the time to reread all of them? So that's the question. Comment down below. Do you think I should just get rid of them? Does the series get better? Have you read them? Let me know everything. I hope to be selling these books to a new and used bookstore that is not too far. Um, that way, the money that I get from it, I can put towards buying new books and filling these new holes on my shelf. So that's what I will be doing. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. It's very hard for me to do. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, even though it's only like four books. It's still, it's just a big thing for me. Comment down below letting me know what you think. Um, hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when I post every Thursday. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.